I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chalamet complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chalamet City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. to the side. And one more time, but faster. And one, and Come two, right. and forward. Come and right. one, and two, arms out. Would you care for some more soda, Comrade? One more time. You, you came to, to do, do this speech, exercise, right? keep your feet Go to the town square. I bet and that's where your friends are. Bay. Sure, thanks. Now, which way is the town now square? Just head for the large building. You really can't oh, miss it. Oh, my God, stop. Me. Thank you so much. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Here, Al. Come here, bot. Here, bot. We're still working on the robot's navigation system. Just, just a number. Yeah, I noticed. We'll come up with something. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Vovas bots, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Suchinov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director like General person. of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Uh, it's too bad my social credit rating isn't high enough to get a thought. One more game of Battleship, then that one. Are they getting rid of the rain clouds tomorrow, Sveta? Get well, your thought device today. Get connected Monday, straight away. Well, Monday's no rain. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrades. 
Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No thanks, I'm just browsing. Why? No thanks, I'm all set. Oh, what a rendition. Comrades, Comrades, residents, and visitors to Chelomey City, Dr. Sechenov's address will be in in 10 minutes. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects. Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and... I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I was covered in bandages and you nursed me back You home. fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. I'm so happy. Well... Hello there, my friends. I kept you safe from bullets. Or your life will come to naught. <laughs> Sorry, I opened Just it there. All the possibilities universal. Citizens, collect your thoughts and connect your thought. There are some restrictions, but you can already control robots. Breaking news. A drone robot called Galileo has just finished the world's first non-stop Ha! D-10. I can't wait. Going to the stars is my dream. No one has ever been there before. You know, we could the, be first the first robots couldn't even walk. The very first model, back in 39, had wheels and a cable this long. You know, back then, we prototyped polymer batteries for robots. I can still remember shaking hands with a great comrade called the Memorial to the Great has been erected in Moscow. I can't wait to learn it all. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. 
I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina any information gathered by these sensors will be polymerically projected directly onto your retina producing an augmented reality effect the only effect I've seen so far bot is pretty much nothing's changed to activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture! It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking... Sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenoff, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenoff, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. Just look. And how our beloved Report to the lobby of that high-rise comrade in the last few They're waiting for you. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled So labor, glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Science. The car is waiting. On behalf of you must all, go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access codes. It's been I left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived.
thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here's your vehicle activation code, comrade major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamé? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. R&D product. The brainchild of an elite cadre of Soviet scientists and engineers working at the forefront of multidisciplinary science and technology. This device is set to completely revolutionize the world. Armed with a thought device, in just two days, any polymerized Soviet citizen will be able to learn to control robots with the power of their mind. That's one hell of a car. The world will never but it's be still an again. internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Do not stop just an indispensable though. piece of hardware. This thought device is also a stylish and personalized gadget. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That would be something. It combines high-tech, user-friendly digital solutions with an right. elegant, eye-pleasing look in a wide range of colors. You can find a thought device that matches your eye color, your favorite dress, or anything you like. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? 
The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades in every Get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from the South. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about... Yeah.
mind by Fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Tophet's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? Real. Your trip Watch is out. now concluding. What am I supposed to for do your about safety, it? please yeah. do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, lousy fuck? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? 